Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jen Gianni and Christine is here with me and we're highlighting Tom McCook's workshop on our site called Shoulder and Spine. And this is one of the exercises that he shows mid to later in the workshop after he's really taught us so much about the movement of the spine and the shoulder blades and how the arm is articulating through that. So this is um, something that he really builds up to, but it's really a wonderful, wonderful exercise, especially training us to have more awareness and ability to rotate our thoracic spine and then move our arm on that that full dynamic thoracic spine. And this is something that I know we all see all the time in the studio that we have so many clients that are really locked up in this area. So um, Christine is on her side, right? We just wanna make sure that her bottom shoulder is decompressed. And I wanna see in the beginning that her head, her mid back and the center of her sacrum are on one line. And then we have, it's a black foam roller, so you may not be able to see it. So we have a black foam roller and her top leg is bent so that the knee-ish is in line with the hip or a little bit below the hip. And she's putting pressure into this foam roller. And ideally during this sequence, her pelvis is staying as is, as much as possible. So we're gonna start simply with this hand behind the head. And so I want the client not to do this with the arm and the shoulder blade, but I want them to be doing it through their thoracic spine. So I want her to think about turning this right side of her rib cage back, pelvis stays in place, she can put pressure into the foam roller, beautiful, and then she slowly, from her thoracic spine, she rolls back. So really good, so she has this, so we're gonna go right to a long arm. So her arm's gonna be out, she's gonna to connect to that neutral placement of her shoulder blade. And then again, from her rib cage, keeping the chin in line with the sternum, she's gonna to start to go out. And then you have to monitor as the teacher that she's doing it from her rib cage and not bullying this with her arm or her shoulder girdle. And then from her rib cage, she can come back into it. All right, so here is the complicated part that maybe a lot of your clients won't get to, to until later, but um, we're gonna try it with Christine. So she's gonna start again with that same arm position. So let's do inhale and she's gonna turn back. And then on the exhale, holding her rib cage in place, she's gonna bend her elbow and bring her hand towards her sacrum and she's gonna turn her fingertips actually up her back, which is gonna be hard for a lot of people. And she's gonna to try to bring her fingers up her back as much as she can, good. And then the fingers are gonna go down the back. And then she's gonna open the arm into external rotation again. She's gonna bring it over her head. Then she's gonna bring the hand behind her head. Good, stay in rotation. And then you're gonna bring it out again. Nice, and then you can rotate back. Beautiful. All the while she's keeping that same pressure with the leg, pelvis stays nice and still. So we're really teaching in that rotation to find that extreme internal and external rotation and all those translatory positions through. So let's see it one more time. So she's taking her ribs back, keeping her chin in line with her sternum, putting a little bit of pressure into the foam roller. She holds, so you have to stop them. And then she's gonna bend the elbow, bringing the hand to the sacrum, sneaking the fingertips up towards her shoulders. Good, and then bringing the hand back down, rotating from the top of the arm bone into external rotation. Arm goes overhead. She stays in external rotation as the hand goes behind the head. Good, she stays in external rotation as she extends the arm again. And then from the rib cage, she rolls back to her beginning position, and then she gently rests the arm. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.